Hey Sagittarius, I know I need to take my tree down, but I'll do that on my off day. But either way, uh, somebody want to reconciliation with you. Okay, I feel like this is a twin flame or soulmate connection because y'all both are avoiding or disconnecting from toxic situations and going to calmer waters. With this time moment in reverse for you. You avoiding things that you have to learn from. You avoiding things that's going to put you in heartache. You avoiding people that lie. You avoiding people that are scandalous. You're limiting your conversations. Or you limiting how much information you give people. But with this time moment, you also know you deserve love. Y'all didn't spend the holidays together. You out there learning. When I say you're out there learning, Sagittarius, <laughs> you're out there using your intuition. I said you're out there using your intuition. Um, release your ex. That light is too black. Came in reverse. Okay. And maybe you're keeping that a secret that you are not releasing them. You forgive and learn. So that's why you're going to have a new beginning with love. And it could be with your ex. Some of y'all never got a chance to be in a relationship with this person. That's why I believe it's new love for you. Yes, and gifts and something new about money is coming in, honey. This is fucking beautiful. Because you've been what? Forgiving and learning. This person is still dealing with unrequired love. I think that's why they want to go to calmer waters. They're trying to avoid toxic things. Or they're avoiding two karmic things. That's why I feel like this is a twin flame soulmate connection they are avoiding third parties which could be people that lie people that steal people that live in a toxic ass relationship or just someone or some things that have hurt them in the past or that they can't deal with uh healing family issues that's what i said it's in reverse they haven't released the feeling of family hurt or maybe they still going through things or having memories, or maybe they're triggered, or they uh, don't know how to separate to elevate. And I feel like that's where you come in to teach them to, with this new beginning, how to forgive and learn. Damn it, good thing I don't need those cards. Yes, that's why this person came in reverse with love yourself first. This is a water earth energy. I guess they're getting their money together. So entities and careers coming in reverse. And they want to, they don't want to be silent anymore. They want to release what's deep within their meanings with these wands, right? Whew. So let's see. Hope you, happy New Year and I hope you're having a good fucking day. Yeah. They want to go on a date. Or they want to do something with you, right? If they want a reconciliation. I read yesterday, you're going to have to make a decision about this commitment. <laughs> you're going to have to stop what you're doing, whatever you've been learning, or whatever you've been participating, and think more about your love life. 
I feel like Sagittarius, you probably been putting in work into everything, but really your love life. You probably haven't really gotten out there. Or for some of y'all, y'all haven't really been thinking about this. Y'all both probably have been distracting yourselves with work and doing other things to not think about it. So this is where you're going to have to stop what you're doing and think about this. Yeah, live and uh, learn, uh, forgive and learn, excuse me. They're going to have to move on from this. This is going to, that's a waste of their time. And these people that they're dealing with are emotionally unavailable. They don't have a deep sense of thought. They do not understand emotional intelligence. Like they cannot, or they do not give a fuck about their feelings. Or maybe this person is gonna be different with you than with than with when they are, excuse me, with their friends and family. Because they cannot show that side of them. Yeah, what I say. They're dealing with narcissists. That has unrequired love, right? We all know that. That's what they're trying to avoid. That's what they want to avoid. They're dealing with people that they probably give to and haven't gotten anything back. Or they probably dealing with people they have to be a certain way with. And they, they want to be themselves. Yeah, this person been spying on you. So they're not releasing you either. And they keeping it a secret. Or you know this with your intuition. So you could be getting downloads of love songs. Taking things slow. I know I haven't been showing my face, but I've been going through some things and I'm really just tired. So give me time because I see my readings went down and I noticed they go up when I show my face more. So it's all good. Okay, moving. They want to move, baby. They ready to get the fuck out of there. So I feel like loving themselves first Maybe they feel like they can't be themselves around these people. And that's the sad part because if they just say fuck it like you do Sagittarius and just be themselves whether these people like it or not. That's the part that's going to kick in with the intuition. They have to learn that being themselves is important whether you are anywhere. So this person could feel like they're in a box. I don't know why I just seen or felt like saying that. Box. Yes, garden angels came in reverse. These family, see, they're not protected. They don't have no spiritual beliefs. These third parties they've been dealing with. See, it's hard to come across someone like you. And this person. Maybe this person gave up on people that do right. Maybe they gave up on doing right because they got no results out of it. Because they were dealing with the wrong kind of people that was keeping them purposely back. That didn't want to see them good. They got off on seeing them crying or got off on seeing their failures or was doing um, evil shit behind their back and they didn't know or they didn't want to believe or they was giving people a second chance that did not deserve it. So I feel like your cutoff game is a lot stronger than this person. But that's because you really want to achieve your goals. And you rather... And, not that you rather do it alone, but when you realize that God has given you an assignment 
<laughs> that you don't need nobody else to help you. It would be nice, right? So this person needs to get to that level where they need to come up with an idea where they don't need no one to help them, whether it's you or not. But because this is a twin flame connection, this is like a power couple. Spirit wants y'all to work together. Be cautious, popped out. That's what you're doing. You deserve love. So I really feel like if you try to date someone else, it's just going to put you back with this person. Things are not going to work out. Let's see. Yes. You're not a pet. You deserve love. You're going to be avoiding a lot of people. Because you already have someone you're supposed to be with. I don't think you have a choice. Sometimes I feel that way. I don't think this person have a choice. They probably, or uh, y'all probably thought y'all did. I mean, I feel like you do. If this person don't want to fall in with the assignment, but, uh... <laughs> They can't do nothing if God is involved. They can't do nothing if they're an empath. Because they're going to feel it. Yeah, you might be getting pregnant or you manifesting. Y'all going to manifest together. Oh, yeah. Y'all going to be mirroring what's deep within y'all with these nine. Y'all going to release that to this world. And you might get pregnant or manifest strongly with y'all love. Entities and careers in reverse. You don't have y'all not gonna have financial problems anymore. You're gonna show this person for y'all that's high spirit, high vibration. You're gonna sh probably show this person that you are alien or y'all are aliens going through human experience. Like it's natural for you to stress. How many minutes I got to stress and go through things. Even when you know God's going to take care of it because you're still a human being. But you've probably been through so many things or seen so many times where you got through it. Just putting it in God's hands. It works. Damn it. I wanted to roast. Where are my roast cards? I don't have that long today. I got to get lunch ready and all kind of stuff. I was just telling this boy, it's hard to be single and do things on your own. And people know that. It's just like they don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, especially when you have no kids for some of y'all. Yeah, this person don't want to say, fuck you, go away. <laughs> Let's keep going till my time run out. Yes. They don't look at you as a triple threat anymore or this commitment. The people that they've been dealing with are not a triple threat. That's why you're moving on with your commitment. You see that the person they're dealing with are not better than you. Even if they look better, boo. Yeah. These people are bitching. That's why your person want to move on. They see they bitching for nothing about things that's not important. That's what usually people that like to complain do. Narcissist again, friend, landed on the same slot. Trying to get this in. Spying. Yeah. They're not using their good for evil. They see you not using your good for evil. That's what they see. So this person be getting a good idea of who you are. Trolling the need therapy. What did I say? They need to love themselves first, and that's what you're going to teach them. And not even teach them, show them shit. Yeah, this person probably getting aggravated and can't sleep. Or these people are aggravated because they're not protected. So they see that they can't be, they got to walk on eggshells around these people. Yeah, you using your intuition to get that money, honey. Yeah. But this person don't need no 